Hello everybody, Assalamualaikum. How are you all? I hope you're doing well. Alhamdulillah, I'm fine too. And today we're going to learn weather and climate. So let's get started. By looking at the picture, we can see different weather icons. First, we gotta learn what is weather. Simple definition, weather is what the sky and air like each day. Weather is the state of the atmosphere, including temperature, atmospheric pressure, wind, humidity, as precipitation, and cloud cover. Our weather forecast says rainfall activity may increase or light fog lightly, or change in temperature unlikely. The air might be hot or cold, sunny day and hot day. Components of weather. Weather is made up of six main components. These are temperature, atmospheric pressure, cloud formation, wind, humidity, and rain. A small change to any of these conditions can create a weather pattern. Weather can be described by sky conditions, temperature, humidity, and wind. Those are called the components of weather. These are described below conditions. We can find different types of weather in weather forecasting section in the inter newspaper in the internet. Bang Bangladesh Met Office uses weather icons to present different type of weather as shown below. Sunny, partly cloudy, rainy, and thunderstorm. Explanation of each component of weather. Now we're going to learn about temperature. Now what is temperature? Temperature is how warm or cold the air is. We feel hot or cold in our daily life. We can describe like it's a sunny day or it's a rainy day. Temperature is a crucial factor determining weather patterns. It influences ver various weather conditions such as precipitation, humidity, and atmospheric pressure. For instance, high temperatures often lead to evaporation causing increased humidity and potentially forming clouds that may result in rain or storms. Humidity. Humidity is another weather element that cannot be seen but can be felt. Humidity is the quantity of water vapor. Humidity is the measure of how much moisture is in the air. We describe the weather as humid when the air around us feels wet and sticky. When we are sweating, the humidity is high. When we feel dry, humidity is low. We use wet and dry to describe the weather. Wind. Now, what is wind? Wind is moving air. Wind can be strong or weak, or we can say light. Wind can be measured by its direction or speed. Wind direction is the direction from which wind originates. For example, northerly wind blows from the north to the south. Wind strength can be easily described observing 
hoisting school flag trees and so on. Causes of weather changes. Well, what is the causes of weather changes? Well, let's see. Trees has have been caused by many natural factors, including changes in the sun, emissions from volcanoes, variations in Earth orbit, and levels of carbon di dioxide. The temperature is one of the most important factor for changing the weather. When the sun rises in the morning, air becomes warmer and temperatures goes up. When the sun sets, the air becomes cooler and temperature drops down. These temperature changes are called diurnal change. Due to changes of the sun position in the sky, weather changes also being happened. Causes of weather changes: wind. Winds are formed when the sun heats up some parts of the earth more strongly than others and the difference in temperature makes the air move. Wind causes weather changes. For example, cloud of a certain area is blown to another area by wind. Wind also moves clouds from the sky and make it clear. Sometimes the weather can be very powerful, bringing violent storms or cyclones. Weather in our life. Weather has a significant influence on people's daily activities. These are explained below. We put on warm clothes when it is cold or when we feel Cold. We go out with an um, umbrella in a rainy day or in a sunny day. Rainfalls provide us water resource. Plants become fresher and crops grow well with the help of rain water. However, not all types of weather brings good results. Cloud. Now, the cloud is made up of millions of tiny water droplets or ice crystals floating together in the air. By looking at the picture, we can see what is a cloud. Sea or vapor river water evaporates due to the heat of the sun and it becomes water vapor. When vapor in the air is cooled, the end condenses on a tiny dust to form a small water droplet. These small water droplets float in the sky as a cloud. We can see many kinds of clouds. That is so interesting. Clouds are classified by their shape and their height above ground. Fog is a fog is a kind of clouds that you can feel or touch at the ground. When fog accumulated on something like leaves, like leaves or grass and form tiny water droplet, then it is called dew. Whereas haze is made from dry particles such as dust. Classifications of cloud. By looking at these pictures, we can see there are different clouds with different appearance. Clouds are classified according to their height above and appearance, texture, or you can see from the ground. Cumulus clouds are clouds that are often described as puffy, cotton-like, or fluffy in appearance.
Cumulonimbus. Cumulonimbus clouds are large, tall clouds that are dark on the bottom and usually produce rain, thunderstorms, snow, hail, lightning, and even tornadoes. Wow. Nimbus stratus. Nimbus stratus clouds are dark gray and thick enough to hide the sun completely. Unlike some other clouds, they don't come in different shapes. Altostratus cloud. Altostratus clouds are mid-level gray or blue-gray clouds that usually cover the whole sky. By looking at these pictures, we can see what they look like. Rain. Small cloud of droplets aggregate into a big water drop. Big water drops cannot float in the sky and then fall on the earth as a rain. So now we know what are what is rain. Sometimes we see hail drop during rain. Hail is a type of frozen rain in the form of balls or irregular lumps. So, rain is the liquid form of water that falls from the sky in drops. Problems of heavy rainfall. Now, what? Now, imagine in your area it has been raining heavily for a long time. Imagine what would happen. Every rainfall causes a lot of problems in our daily life. For example, due to heavy rainfall, the water level of rivers increases and the water from the river spills into the land. As a result, roads go underwater. Houses may also go underwater. Crops and Cultivatable fields go underwater. Thus, we face many problems as a result of heavy rainfall. Heavy rainfall can lead to numerous hazards, for example, floating, including risk to human life, damage to buildings and infrastructure and loss of crops and livestock, landslides which can threaten human life. It's between climate and weather. Now, what are the differences between climate and weather? Well, let's see. With, now, what is weather? Weather is the temporal condition of the sky and air of an area for a small period of time. Now, what is climate? Climate is the average condition of weather of an area for many years. Two nearby areas may have different weather at the same time. For example, an area may have sunny weather, while another area, nearby area may be experiencing rainfall. Climate remains same for vast areas of the same country. For example, the climate of Bangladesh is hot and humid. The weather changes within a short period of time. For example, it may be sunny in the morning but rainy in the afternoon in the same area. Changes in the climate occur over a longer period of time. For example, the climate of Bangladesh has been the same for 20, 30 years. Climate of Bangladesh. 
climate of Bangladesh are shortly described below. Well, let's see. The climate of Bangladesh is hot and humid. There are six seasons in this country. Each season brings different kinds of climate, like summer consists of Baishak, and it is the warmest season. Rainy consists of heavy rainfall. Early autumn consists of Vadra. White and fluffy clouds are seen in the sky in the season, in this season, etc. In the late autumn, crops are harvested. In winter, it is very cold and it lessens in the spring and the weather gets warmer. In spring, the weather getting warmer. Seasonal pattern in Bangladesh is different from other countries in the Northern Hemisphere. Above all are the usual pattern of Bangladesh climate. Difference between fog and dew. Now, what are the differences between fog and dew? Well, let's see. What is fog? Fog is one kind of cloud. Now, what is dew? Dew is one kind of tiny water droplets. Now, what is fog created from? Fog is created from water vapor. Now, what is dew created from? Dew is created from fog. The size of the water particles present in fog is comparatively small. The size of the water particles present in dew is comparatively big. We've learned a lot of things today, so I hope you like my video. Bye bye, see you next time. We have learned a lot of interesting things today, so I hope you like my video. Bye bye, see you next time.